Boy with BlastSeasMixtapes.com. Today I'm here with Sweat the Track. Got LC and Chicken with me. So tell me y'all, uh, where the name Sweat the Track, where that come from? <laughs> man, uh, you know how you have a cat and he always like, man, that track, that man, it's just banging. And you know the booth, we always used to call it the sweat box, because if you go in the booth, you sweating a long time. So my homie came and like, man, you be having, man, you be having no sweat in the track, man. I was like... And one day I was just like, yeah. And I just, that's just what it was. It's just stuff from that. Yep. So, uh, what all equipment y'all using? See, I got a lot around here. See, MPC 4000, uh, M, I'm on multi bridge rack, Phantom rack, MIDI keyboard, MIDI keyboard, DSTs in the Pro Tools. Yeah, that's Yeah. So, how long y'all been producing? Shit, about, I'd say about, 13 years, 14 years. I've been doing this since I was like 16, but it ain't, get, it ain't trying to see me until I was like 20. So I just add all it together. I say about, about a good 12, 13 years myself. Oh, I've been there for a long time. Yeah. What about a, um, a musical background? Y'all come from like a musical family or anything like that? Well, I, um, shit, I've been in bands all my life from junior high, high school, on um, college. You know what I'm saying? Playing tunnel drums and shit. Shout out to TSU and Jackson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, buddy, I was buddy. in the band in high school. My mama sang, my dad sang, my whole family sang. So, I guess it was just, it was just that I grew up in the church. So, uh, okay. So, what, what music has influenced y'all? Oh, yeah, music. <laughs> All music. All music. You can hear I mean, music is a feeling. That's why you always hear people say you can't put a price on music because it's a feeling. It's a feeling you get from you hear a certain song, you be like, damn, I went through that. And mm -hmm. It give you that feeling, you know what I'm saying? So it's just a feeling. So you, I can't even say just no certain genre of music because it could be rock, pop, whatever. If I, if I feel it and I can understand it, then it might motivate me to want to make some more music. So, right. That's what you're saying. So, uh,. When when y'all sit there and get ready to make a beat, what steps do you take? I know some people start with the drums, some people start with a a, a melody or something like that. I ain't got start. no formula shit. I pick that motherfucker a couple times <laughs> and then shit. That's where it's gonna come from. Yeah. I, if you ever hear anything that I do, it's all about how I feel at that moment. So I can't you come to me and talk about you want a certain type of beat. <laughs> I ain't got to do me, you got to do whatever you can. You know, like most people, like, it's crazy you act that question because you hear most people say, well, I start my drums and then I go to my sounds. Well, I might hear a sound and go straight to the drums, then go back to the sound. So it's like, it ain't really no method. It's right. just on what you hear at the time. Damn, right. I heard the clap already, so go on and throw the clap in there. Or I heard these keys, so go on and throw these keys in there. And it's just... Sometimes it goes back and forth. Right, and, and, it, and that way it ends up, you never know... How the beat was gonna come out? You probably going to make an R and B beat and it turn into some rap shit. So yeah, I know what you mean by that. So uh, throw some names out there. Who all of y'all produce for? Well, you want to stop? Well, at Memphis alone, you can name damn near everybody. 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 <laughs> really. Damn near everybody. Like it's a it's a it's a lot of newer newer artists out now that we probably haven't touched yet. But as far as going back through the years or from the older cats who were doing before we were doing it to the cats who were doing it now, basically everybody. You listen to the radio, you listen to mixtapes, you hear Sweat the Track. We we all around this motherfucker, so. Yeah. Okay, so name one or two or ten. I don't know, I said, uh, Al Capone, Gorilla Zoe, okay. uh, no soda, Kinfolk Kim Kim Dubs, Zed right. Zilla, all, all black movement, my homie, all black movement, yo got it, uh, Zed Zilla, yeah. Zilla. Uh, Maggie, Maggie, uh, got, uh, miscellaneous, uh, <laughs> we got <did, we> <laughs> Young like, Key, uh, Third Bread Hustlers, like, a lot of people, <laughs> people so people gonna get a little out cause it's so <laughs> yeah, yeah, but everybody didn't know what y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. What's the so, track? Uh, so if uh if there was some people that that you haven't worked with, maybe that you know, that people consider major artists, mm -hmm. who would you like to work with that you just haven't had that opportunity to work with? Um I'm real good friends with uh B L B homeboy Playboy Trey. I wanna work with uh B L B. 
I want to work with Fabulous, Jada, T.I. I want to work with T.I. Shit. Bogey's Boys, Wiz, Big Creek. We got Big Creek, Wiz. Like, I work with whoever that guy. I want to work with everybody. Like, Fergie. I want to do some stuff for Fergie, goddamn. Shit. Yeah, well, I am. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can just have a little bad look. And we'll come out with something. Okay. So, um, are y'all affiliated with anybody? As, as far as, as of as far as the production wise, we are with the trade. Right. As far as of artist wise, I'm I'm with No Soda as an artist. So I'm with No Soda E and T as an artist. I'm a new member of No Soda. I'm working on a mixtape, uh, the chorus killer coming out. Uh, Mr. Stadium Music album finna come out. We're working on very mixed tape. We in the trap house, y'all know we feel that with the trap house, DJ Lilair. Yeah. I've been doing trip exclusive producer since high school. You know, like uh, man, we just been working, man. Yeah, that's, that's what's up. So I know it's gonna be a hard question because y'all work with so many artists. But where can people go to hear some of the music that y'all produced? <laughs> <laughs> I don't do even that. know. <laughs> besides Blast TV mixtapes. Right, besides Blast TV mixtapes. Uh live mixtape dot com. Uh we got we got sound we got sound click pages and stuff like that, but man, most of the time it's just on hand to just get up with us and vibe in the studio. Yeah. Like cause we doing so much music, I don't even know where has the music go. <laughs> it's so many different artists because it's so many different people doing so many different things, you don't even know where half the music at half the time. Wow. It makes tapes of music that I ain't even heard yet. Because <laughs> I ain't even <laughs> saved the artist. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if somebody wants to get in touch with y'all, tell them the best way to get in touch with y'all. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken Don't Twitter. underscore SDT. You can email me at mrchicken.com. That's C-H-I-C-C-E-N. That's mrchicken.com. Uh, uh, I am uh, Mr. Stadium Music on Twitter. You can call it the Trap House, 901-433-9250. Um, my manager, JJ, yeah, you can call him, 415-0446. Um, man, get me at the Trap House. Get me on Twitter. You see my phone, I'm tweeting as we speak. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, watch well, out. Appreciate y'all time, Mr. L.C. Appreciate it. Uh, this is uh, K-Boy, BlastEaseMixtapes.com, the best source for independent music in Memphis, the South, and the country. Damn right. Blame. This is another.